Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Mike Focus Flips. Do you remember this? This right here went for £8.50 plus postage. Now, I'm only showing you this because this is like a little kind of sneak peek hint at a future video I've got coming out. If you do, great. If you don't, don't worry. We're going to get into it right now. So in this video, we're going to find out whether buying this M&S Summer Beauty Bag is worth it from a reselling point of view. Is it worth buying it? to resell the content for a profit on eBay. That is what we were going to find out in this video. So according to m and this has £160 worth of product inside. There are 11 different items plus the bag. So this cost me £25 when I spent £30 at m and online. I was there to buy some work shoes and I saw this flagged up at the bottom or the side or somewhere. Had a quick look at what was inside and I figured yeah, that's pretty good. I was spending £30 anyway on my shoes and I was going to have to pay delivery on top. But with buying this, I got free delivery because I'd spent over £50. I spent £55 in total. So my plan with this is to sell everything individually. There might be a couple of things in here that maybe are not going to be worth selling individually, in which case I might bundle them up. But for the most part, I'm going to go individual on each item. If you didn't know, the new one of these has actually just come out. The day this video is releasing, they have just released a Christmas version of this in the form of an advent calendar. They do it every year, and I have bought it in previous years. I don't think I got it last year, but I bought it a couple of times in the past purely to give as a gift to somebody, and I was qu always quite impressed with the stuff that you get inside. So we're going to go back to July when I got the box through in the post, we're going to have a quick look at everything that's in there and we're going to take it from there. Let's go. So yeah, let's take a look at what you actually get in here. Okay. So there it is. That's all that's in the box. So as you can see, it even says on here, £160 worth. So the first item is this, autograph, colour balm, lip shine i'm gonna go through these quite quickly we've got emma hardy plump and glow hydrating facial mist we have white coconut coconut vanilla amber perfume we have a botanical repair uh, strengthening leave-in treatment origins refreshing eye cream a Clinique Moisture Surge, Hydrating something or other. Quite a large Perfect Legs Body Butter. This works. Percy and Reed London Mirror Mirror Shine Serum. Prayer Beauty Ageless Upper Arm Cream. Upper arm cream. I'm saying that twice because I don't know what that is. <laughs> upper arm cream. I didn't know there was a particular cream just for the upper arm, but what do I know? Not a lot, obviously. And we've got some nail part nail polish. Be your uh, nails ink, London. And one more item, which is it's a little. Uh, Multi-purpose, dry all, face, body, hair. It nourishes, repairs, and beautifies. So there you go. That's all the items we have got. We've also got this nice little case, which I think they said was worth a few pounds itself. But to be honest, looking at it, I don't think it's going to be worth much. So I might have to throw this in with one of these items, I think. So there we go. That is everything that you get in the bag for £25. So... Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much we can get for this, how quickly we can get it. So I'm no expert at selling like cosmetics, but I've sold a few things before, like perfumes and stuff, but not on any kind of great scale. I also don't have any sort of fancy camera setup or, you know, studio lighting or anything like that. It's quite basic. I have a ring light, I have a plain background, and I have my iPhone. That is what I use for everything and it works. 
let's get some photographs and let's get this stuff listed and let's hopefully make some good profit 25 pounds into wow i would hope for at least 100 and that's after fees after postage after everything that's kind of my aim the 160 would be fantastic but i don't know about that i'm not trying to like get the very most for everything i'm just trying to sell it within a reasonable amount of time for you know a fair price i'm not going to be going for the very highest price on every item it's all going to be easy to photograph it's going to take what perhaps a minute to two minutes per item and really easy to ship out when it sells also worth mentioning is that i have a well-established ebay store so you know if you don't really sell on ebay don't have much feedback and things like that or you have a lot of bad feedback you're probably not going to be able to get as much money for this stuff as perhaps i can so i will drop back into this video at a later date with a bit of an update so the next thing you will see will be that it will be me updating you on how this stuff is going so i've not done an update recently on this i've just sold this item so i just thought i would show you we've sold quite a few of these items now i've got eight pounds 50 plus postage on this one which is just in here and there's not that many left now look so that's the one we just sold so let's go and take a look at how much money so far we have made have we managed to get into the profit yet on this stuff we will see let's go and have a look so it's now october so what we're we talking july august september october it's about three to four months later and we've sold the majority of the goods but have we made a profit that is the important question here let's have a look so there are 12 items in total including the bag and it's 25 pounds so that's two pounds eight pence per item that i need to kind of take off the amount that we are making so the first item to sell was emma hardy facial mist that sold for seven pounds 99 free postage postage was two pounds 85 on every single item here the fees based on 10.9 percent in the beauty category on ebay that is the percentage it's 10.9 percent plus 30p so i've worked all this out i've already done all that so i will read it out here as we go so 7.99 free postage so i've had to pay the postage uh, the fees one pound 17 in total which leaves us with a profit on the first item of one pound 89 yes i know it's not a lot bear with me the second item to sell was i'm just trying to read my bad handwriting i think it's prayer is it prayer beauty upper arm cream it's whatever i've put on the screen right now and 7.99 again everything is the same actually on this one so it's 7.99 the postage is the same price free postage is what i did i've basically done free postage where it's been kind of competitive to do so so if other people have done free postage I've tended to do free postage as well. If other people haven't done free postage, then I put postage on. So it's another £1.89 profit on that item. The next one is better. It's It was the Origins Eye Cream, £15.95, plus postage on top. So, and actually I've made a little bit of profit on the postage as well, just a little bit. Um, it's only cost me £2.85, but I put £3.35. If you already sell on eBay, you'll, you'll know this, but... £3.35 at the moment, if you if you click on second class small parcel with raw mail, £3.35 is just the standard that comes up. I think that's what you pay if you go to the post office and send it. I get a little bit less because I do it through eBay, so I pay a little bit less for uh, the postage. So I'm making a little bit on that. But the other thing that a lot of people don't realise if you don't sell on eBay is that eBay take a percentage off everything, including the postage. So... For instance, if you're charging £3 for postage, you're not getting that £3. You are getting the £3 minus the 10.9% or whatever the percentage is on that particular category you've sold on. So the Origins Eye Cream, £15.95 plus the postage. And then, the, so the fees were £2.40 in total and the total profit is £11.97. So that's a little bit better, right? A little bit better than the £1.89 we had on the last two. And next was the white coconut perfume. For that, we got twelve ninety nine plus postage. Again, with the postage, I have charged three pounds thirty five, but it only cost me two pounds eighty five. But the fees end up 
at two pounds and eight pence for the fees and the overall profit is nine pounds 33 and the next thing was the aveda or aveda botanical repair that was eight pounds fifty got eight pounds fifty for that plus postage and again made the 50p on the postage the fees on that £1.59 and the profit is £5.33. Next, the Mini Huel Dry Oil got £6.50. Free postage on that. So once you take off the postage and the fees, the fees were a pound, you are only left with 57p profit. Yes. Next is the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrator. We got £8.50. Free postage on this. Fees were £1.23, profit £2.34. Next is the Percy and Reed Hair Serum. We got £6.99 for that. Free postage, so I had to pay the postage. And the fees were £1.06, which left us with a profit of £1. This was one of the ones that I've only sold recently. And I did put the price down a fair bit. Probably could have held out a bit on the price on that one and then the last item that is sold is the this works body butter that went for 5.99 plus postage but only made 15 pence more profit on that for some reason i put the postage less on that particular one i don't know why to be honest i don't know i think I, again i was probably just trying to be competitive i imagine somebody else maybe had it up at 5.99 with 350 postage or something like that so i probably just lowered it down below there so it'd sell quickly so it's five ninety nine plus postage. The fees were one pound twenty eight, and the profit was two pounds seventy eight. And that's everything I have sold. So that's nine items. So we still got the nail polish, the lip balm, and the bag that have not sold. So what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to stick them together all as one, and I'm going to try and sell them for about eight to ten pounds. Uh, maybe plus postage not sure and i'm just going to try and break even on them so the total amount i have brought in including postage is 94 pounds 45 i've then paid out 25 pounds 65 in postage to send everything out and then i have spent 12 pounds 98 in fees ebay fees for everything that has sold and of course let's not forget the 25 pound initial buy cost for the goods as well which leaves us with a profit of £30.82, pence, all said and done. What do you think? What do you think? It's obviously not a lot. I don't know what I was thinking when I was thinking we would get close to £100. I was basically going off the 160 you know, estimated value there of all the goods. I was thinking, well, if it's close to 160 then surely we can get somewhere close to a hundred pounds all said and done but nah, this is the reality so with all this stuff i priced it to sell i probably could have held out a little bit more on some items and got a little bit more for them but i really wanted to kind of show in a video and before this uh, christmas advent calendar that they're doing comes out i want to kind of i wanted to you know get the video done before then so it gives people the chance to try it themselves if they want to i'm not saying you necessarily should it's not going to be for everyone what i would say is very easy you know this stuff is small it all fits into here and if you wanted to you could you know if you really wanted to buy up a load of these and again that is down to you look into it before you do so all 11 items plus the bag here in this little thing takes no room to store it's really easy to package the stuff up. Uh, most of it's gone out in little boxes or like polythene bags with a little bit of bubble wrap around it. And everything has got there and everything has got there okay. What I would say is I don't know how many of these you're allowed to actually buy. It's definitely one per transaction. But I think if you went in and you bought you know, more stuff at a later date, you'd probably still be able to get it. But when I bought this, I actually bought one for my partner a couple of weeks later and I got it. I didn't have to like use a different account or anything like that. I, I just got it on my regular account. So yeah, I think you can get them again. How many times? I don't know. I think one thing is for certain though, it's a good deal. Whether you're just buying it as a gift 
or whatever you're buying it for it is a good deal on this particular one now who's to say that the next ones that they release will be as good or they might be better who knows i'm definitely going to be taking a look at the new one when it comes out and i might give that a go i might not I don't know depends what the what is in it and uh, the advent calendar itself looks quite good i've seen like a little sneak peek of it and yeah it looks quite nice it might be something you can reuse like from year to year i think what some people do is buy them up and just take out the few that they're interested in that they want for themselves and then maybe gift the rest or sell them on i think a lot of people do that i've heard of people doing that before most people will have heard of it already but there's a website called money saving expert and they always do a little breakdown of these like beauty bags and the calendars the christmas calendars they go around the internet and they find the cheapest prices elsewhere outside of MS where they can find these products and they tally it all up and see if it's actually worthwhile and from the few times that i've bought them before in the past for personal use a few years ago i think it was the last time i bought one they have always been pretty good so they've gone out and done the legwork and looked around as best they can and they come back and you know they're always always from what i've seen um it's a lot cheaper buying this than it would be buying them separately out there cheers for now thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it hope it was a little bit interesting or there was a little bit of information in there or you're going to go out and buy this or the equivalent the christmas equivalent hopefully it will be as good as this if not better yeah let me know what you think down in the comments if you like this kind of video be sure to subscribe there'll be more videos like this coming in the future and if you could hit the like button while you are there as well that'd be much appreciated thank you for watching see you in the next one next is the clinique moisture surge and next is the clinique moisture, moisture. <laughs> next is the clinique moisture surge hydrate <laughs> i can't remember these names clinique moisture surge hydrator Next is the Clinique Moisture Surge. I don't know why I can't say this. Moisture Surge Hydrator.